Hello everyone, welcome to part 79 of Laravel 10 series in which we are creating the e-commerce admin panel and this is the last video for the e-commerce admin panel uh, for now and after that uh, we will start working on the front end and then we will update the admin panel side by side okay so the template is ready html template is ready i hope that every one of you followed these five steps and download the template or you can join as a member to get the template along with this like if you will join as a member by paying rupees 7.99 or 9.9 .9 usd not only you will get the template you will get the multiple templates you will get the laravel e-commerce website source code and many other things you will get the support as well you will get the email support you will get the social media support you can contact me on facebook so many advantage uh, if you will uh, join as a member okay at least as a basic member by paying the rupees 7.99 or dollar 9.9 .9. but if you don't have that much money though i uh, really appreciate if you will join as a member uh, because if you afford the internet connection if you afford uh, the basic internet connection then you can also afford this basic membership cost okay i always believe this in this thing okay so uh, uh, I hope that you will get otherwise always you can take these five steps and this is not always this is for the limited period only like uh, you can get the template free if you will take these five steps that will also help me and help you as well getting the template getting the premium template okay so let's come back to part 79 in which we are going to cover one last video for the end panel uh, that is mandatory to do and i'm going to log into admin panel i'm going to tell you that the dashboard in dashboard we need to update uh, these icons okay these are cpu traffic like sales or uh, these are just dummy icons we need to remove this one and we are going to add our own we are going to add like the categories products brands users like these kind of icons we are going to add later on we will also add the orders okay and other icons but right now we are going to add these icons we are going to replace this one and with the count like how many uh, how many categories added so that count and how many products okay so like this kind of thing we are going to add in this video so let's start straight away i'm going to uh, close the earlier files and we'll open the admin controller dashboard function in admin controller dashboard function that is a part of the index blade file sorry the dashboard blade file that comes after the admin login okay so here uh, we are going to find the count like how many categories how many brands how many products how many users uh, we are going to find the uh, we are going to find that count so before that we are going to include their models as well like use app uh, uh, models category after that we are going to add the product model as well after that we are going to add the brand model as well also we are going to add the user model as well right now we will add for these four modules and here in dashboard uh, we are going to add here uh, the we are going to find the categories count like categories count products count brands count like this okay categories count variable i am going to take categories count variable so from the category itself i'm going to get the count whether unable categories or disabled categories all uh, i will use the count here okay so like this i'm going to take four more and here i'm going to use the plus count okay and brands count and lastly users count So here I'm going to use the product model. Here I'm going to use the brand model. And here I'm going to use the user model. Okay. So all these I'm going to return to the dashboard blade file with compact. Uh, first one is the categories count. Then products count. then brands count then users count sorry
okay so now i will open the dashboard related file in which we are going to add this okay so we are going to replace this one like we are going to replace this one with the categories okay first one we are going to add the categories we are going to show the categories count here categories and here uh, in this place instead of 10 we are going to add here the categories account that we are returning from the function okay categories count. okay i'm going to check here okay categories nine categories are there this one we are going to remove this one is not required going to remove this one see there are nine categories also we are going to uh, provide the link here okay so here we are going to add the link we can add the link uh, here so that uh, we can straight away go to that uh, admin categories url admin slash categories okay So here, uh, here you can see that we can click on this one and can go to the categories page. Okay, uh, but uh, we can also provide the link uh, here. Uh, see this color. I don't like this color. Uh, so I think uh, if we will not provide the link here, if we will provide the link at this part info box, then how it will look? Let's see. No, it, uh, it is not. Uh, we can also, like, if we will provide the link here, then how it will look. I'm going to remove the link from here. No, this one is also not correct. So I think this is the only position. But uh, here we can do one thing. Uh, here, test uh, color. Here, uh, color if we can use the inline CSS though always add the CSS in your CSS file okay now it's fine okay uh, but I am just for saving time I am adding the inline CSS okay so here like categories we can also click on the categories and we'll go to the categories page okay we have ag added the added the categories at the first uh, icon and nine means like the total number of categories added so far okay so nine is just shows that so uh, now the next one uh, so after categories we are going to uh, show the brands and we are going to show the products after that as well uh, so for brands i'm going to show the brands here and here i'm going to show the brands count brands count like this Uh, let's check once that brands count uh, sorry now it's fine okay brands there are five brands here also we can provide the link in the same way like we have added the link there here we are going to add the brand check once there are five brands yes there are five brands added so far fifth one i think we have already deleted that okay so we are showing the five in the dashboard and now we are going to show the uh, products instead of sales we are going to add the products here and now the products count Here also we will add the link for the products okay and 17 products are added so far so we have shown the 17 okay so see the uh, there are 10 products show, shown in the, in the data table seven products are in the next page okay so now uh, sorry so uh, uh, now one uh, one is left for now and uh, we are going to show here the users 
and uh, we don't have any users uh, so far uh, but it will show the zero result no issue users okay uh, but we are going to provide the link uh, whenever we are going to create this page we are going to create the page with the admin slash users okay so here see users and we will click on users because it does not exist okay later on we will uh, create the users then it will uh, show the count as well so now uh, also one more thing we need to do here we will update their icons as well okay uh, like uh, uh, info box here i'm going to see that uh, for the categories info box text it looks fine i think okay uh, so the brands for the brands i think uh, we may require to update or uh, we can even use something else uh, okay so here instead of thumbs up here i'm going to update here and uh, i think there i know one like th list so maybe it will work yeah it looks better than that one okay and for uh, this one uh, we have used that uh, info box con uh, info box uh, after that box info categories with these categories here it is yeah okay so let's go to the products okay so for products also uh, we can modify uh, for the products and i'm thinking like fa t-shirt and i think there is uh, one instead of shopping card we are going to add here fa t-shirt we are going to check here the t-shirt okay so now it looks fine okay so t-shirt for the products and user is perfect this one is already showing users okay for categories uh, we can uh, i think list is fine i think it's a kind of a list or we can use some other we can try sorry not the list this one facog uh, we can try with file let's see fa file yeah now it looks better than that categories brands products user and if you don't want to use the file and there is another one like fa uh, th file i think there uh, it shows something maybe uh, it looks something different no it is not working fa th list i think fa th list i think that looks even better because this, this seems to be same okay this one we have already done uh, for the brand uh then other than this uh, uh, there is another one uh, i think uh, we can also use task fa task okay this one we can try yeah now it looks even better okay so categories this is the list of categories okay so brands then products then users so icons are perfect now uh, along with the links and it looks perfect okay so from the next video we will start working on the front end our template is ready and hope you download the template you downloaded the template and and we are going to work on this template we will start with the home page okay uh, so next video we will start working on the front, uh, home page sorry not home page we are going to convert this template to our laravel structure okay i am going to explain you laravel structure and going to convert this template this one is static right now but then we are going to convert it to the laravel we are going to add all the files all the required files we are going to add like header footer layout okay and then uh, we are going to run it as well okay so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye